I've been asked to comment on uh, what might be the most promising area of research for the future. And uh, I think when, when we think about an area of research being most promising, it should be one that can save the most lives in the uh, quickest period of time. And so as I look at the uh, research and the data and the information being presented here at the 13th uh, Retrovirus Conference, um, I really see that we're, we're finally starting to get some antiviral therapy out into uh, the underdeveloped world, into Africa and Asia, people who, uh, who really don't gain any access to these drugs until they're on death's door with 100 T cells. Um, so there have been studies in the past couple of years showing that by giving uh, people who are HIV positive, who are uh, living in countries such as Africa, nutritional support, aggressive nutritional support with, uh, with micronutrient therapy and possibly with a protein supplement, uh, I really think we need to do some research to see if that very inexpensive, very safe method of supporting the immune system can uh, dramatically slow the progression of HIV disease in people who cannot gain access to the drugs. And hopefully over the next five years or so, we'll be able to make the antiviral medications much more accessible for these populations. But we're losing millions of people uh, every year who are, who are unable to access the drugs. And uh, the studies that were done by Dr. Fauzi in Harvard and Dr. Jampton in Thailand, uh, published in the past couple of years, showed upwards of a 50% decrease in mortality just by supporting the immune system nutritionally. And so the other thing is I think there's uh, more side effects seen in the antiviral therapy given to people uh, of low nutritional status in countries like Africa. And boy, they could really use nutritional support. And there were studies presented at this conference uh, suggesting that they called it nutritional rehabilitation should be provided to these patients at the time that they get access to antiviral drugs to, uh, to help the, the drugs work better. So we really need to start putting a little bit more effort into uh, looking at these kinds of low-cost, safe interventions, and uh, lo and behold, we might find something that could uh, really save the lives of millions of people over the next few years.